Next, let's clear up politics. Revenge on DeSantis as history is made with Carlos Guillermo Smith elected to Florida Senate. Former State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith, endorsed by Quality of Florida Action Pack, has clinched victory in the race for Senate, State Senate District 17. This historic win makes him the second openly LGBTQ member to be elected to the chamber in Florida's history. Voters have rallied behind Carlos, sending him back to Tallahassee to uphold his progressive values and continue fighting for the, the rights of all Floridians. Known for his unwavering stance against Governor DeSantis' agenda, Carlos has consistently exposed lies and hypocrisy, even taking legal action to ensure transparency and accountability. While Smith was a member of the Florida House, DeSantis and the GOP redistricted his seat and then spent a substantial amount of money on a first-time candidate against him. The efforts were successful as he narrowly lost his, seat, his bid for re-election. So this time, despite facing immense opposition from the Republican Party, including millions invested to flip his seat, Carlos has emerged stronger than ever. This resounding victory not only repudiates the governor's extremist agenda, but also reaffirms the electorate's desire for strong leadership that stands up for parents, children, and educators. As Carlos prepares to take a seat in the Florida Senate unopposed, his victory stands as a testament to the unwavering support and respect he commands from the voters in his district. Smith has been a guest many times on Queer News Tonight. Senator-elect Carlos Guillermo Smith joins Senator Jeff Severin Jones as the two LGBTQ plus state senators in Florida. Well, this is very exciting news because we really need some good political yeah. news in Florida yeah. because we are really, it really feels we are fighting an uphill battle yes. on an everyday basis yes. because yeah. it's, it's just one thing after another, yes. whether it's the arts, whether it's this, and I just heard what he took away money for this thing. He took away money for that thing. Mm -hmm. All the, uh, and what was it, the uh, minstrel program in the schools? Yeah. I just heard that today. Yeah. Took away money. But like, what? So we really need representation mm -hmm. that that is standing up for us as our community, right. yeah. but then we'll also stand up for other oppressed communities. Yeah, That's right. of course, of course, because, you know, he's Latino also, you know, yeah. and uh, Carlos Guillermo Smith doesn't take shit from nobody. All right. Yeah. It's plain and simple. I'll say it like that. He is on the same train as Chev is, right? Mm -hmm. They've got to be stronger. They've got to be blacker and browner. They just have to be. It's just how we're going to get ahead, you know? Um, um, Anybody else would have quit after all the stuff that he went through, you know, uh, the gerrymandering. I mean, that was just huge. He sat at this, at this table right here and mm -hmm. said, you're not going to get rid of me. I'm coming back and I'm going to figure out how to do this and still represent you to the fullest. You know, um, this is a victory, right? Like Dale said, like we, 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 we unfortunately have to report too many of the bad news yeah, when it right. comes to politics and policies against our community. This is a win for us. Yep. Yeah. And we have to that's celebrate that. Win. That's right. Absolutely. We really have we to don't celebrate that. these wins right. enough. We no, don't. No, no, We're constantly no. talking about, like you, like you just said, the negativity the reporting on the, ne yeah. the negativity mm -hmm. this is a big win for us so let's yeah. enjoy that and figure out how to move forward yeah we have to celebrate and continue the fight yes it's both okay. and, both and, and, and we need more representation right so we got to celebrate we got to honor it we got to talk about it more um but representation is important that's the only way we're, we're going to change the dynamics in the state right um that's the only way we're going to change the perception of the state that's the only way we're going to get this damn governor out of office right, yeah. right. and oh. change the politics and policy of the state right and so we need more representation so this is a big win for us um, we need to celebrate it. We need to speak about it. We need to speak about the importance of civic engagement and people getting involved yes. and not being afraid yes. and getting inspired from both him and Chevron's, um, you know, uh, might and, uh, you know, courage to continue to fight for us. And we need more advocates like them. So let's celebrate, but let's communicate. Let's educate about getting more involved. Well, thankfully, DeSantis can't run again in those white go-go boots. But I want to extend <laughs> my heartfelt congratulations to Carlos Guillermo Smith on his victory in the race for State Senate District 17. May Smith and Chevron Jones, Smith and Jones, I just thought about like that. <laughs> May they continue to ensure that our voices are heard. That's right.